Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Or if you have never seen my face before, hi, my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am back with a good old unboxing video because today we will be unboxing the brand new goodie box of the month September. And I cannot believe that this month has gone by so fast because when this video is up, it will be my birthday on a Monday and that will be the 27th of September and time is just going by so incredibly fast I cannot wrap my head around it but for today we will be unboxing the goodie box of the month September I have it right here beside me and just as normal I'm just going to show you guys all the items inside of this goodie box um, I will be showing the items in no particular order and I will also leave all the items, the descriptions and the, um, the original value in the description box down below. So if you're interested in that, you know where to find it. So let's just dive straight into all the items inside this month's goodie box. Before we dive into all the items inside this month's goodie box, if you like these kinds of unboxing videos, but if you're also interested in uh, shopping haul videos, lifestyle videos, makeup videos, and occasional Disneyland Paris or cat videos, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. And you will also be helping me out a lot. And while you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to find out all the items inside this month's goodie box. And without further ado, let's get into this video. And here it is, the goodie box for the month September. And they chose a very nice autumn ochre yellow kind of color. I'm not really sure if you say ochre yellow in English, but in Dutch this is ochre geel. Um, but yeah, very autumnal color. Really suits the vibe of this month. So I think they made a correct pick choosing this color. And on the inside you are always greeted by a lot of flyers. But we won't be needing that because there will be a lot of spoilers inside of here. So I will just put these to the side for now. And after that we are left with the normal packaging paper and obviously all the items. So I'm just going to put this little box right beside me. And I'm just going to show you guys all the items in no particular order. The first item is an item by the brand Starskin, which I am super excited about. And this is the Starskin VIP 7 Second Luxury All Day Mask. The 7 in 1 Miracle Skin Mask Pads. And in here you find one treatment, I believe. Um, let's have a quick look. The 7 second luxury all day mask is a new generation 7 in 1 beauty innovation that combines the ultimate 7 step skincare routine into one easy to use supercharged mask pad to deliver instantly fresh and dewy looking skin. A 7 step skincare routine. I know I should be doing that, but I think that my skincare routine contains maybe three to four steps. But the fact that they can create a seven step skincare routine inside one little mask bed sounds quite exciting. Um, use when your regular skincare routine won't do the job or when you're short on time and need to prep for a special event. It is supposed to massage, exfoliate, tone, it has a serum, moisturizer and mask and a makeup primer all inside one little pad. 
So, sounds very promising. Did not know that these existed, but I've heard a lot of good things about Starskin. So I am really excited to give this one a try and see how my skin reacts to a seven step skincare routine. Let me know in the comments down below if you're actually one of those people that sticks to the seven step skincare routine. Because let's be real, I'm not one of those people. So let me know if you do that. The next item is by the brand Love Is Jar. And it is their banana shower gel. And this packaging looks super fun with all kinds of bananas on the packaging. So first impression is pretty good. And on this little bottle, I also see that this has 90% of natural ingredients and we received a bottle of 300 milliliters. It is also cruelty free and vegan and it is made in Greece. <laughs> That's all that I can say about <laughs> this shower gel. I will open it up to see if it actually smells a lot like bananas. But first, hopefully I can give you guys a little ASMR moment. Not really. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this smell. Damn. That smells like a banana, alright? Okay. It smells actually exactly like the little banana sweets. So this is going to be a sweet experience inside the shower, but yeah, banana shower gel. The next item is an item by the brand Amite Cosmetics or Amit Cosmetics, not really sure. And this is their Diamond Heart Base Primer Illuminating Soft Focus. And this is actually a very nice size because most of the time you get maybe half the size of this. But this is quite a decent size that they put inside of the box. Uh, the base primer, Diamond Heart Base Primer gives your skin a healthy glow with a smoothening effect. The primer can be used alone to create a glow effect or used as a primer under your foundation or BB cream. So this is actually a multi-purpose primer. I uh, must say that I only recently got into uh, actually trying primers, so I'm fairly new to uh, these kinds of items. But the beauty of Goodiebox is that you get to try new stuff and they also almost always have uh, really good brands inside of their box so you can actually get a good experience instead of buying a cheap one because you're still trying it and then you are being let down because of the the cheaper version so i am going to test this and see if this is working for me and the next item is a super cute fluffy item by the brand nere beauty and yeah, I already received maybe three or four brushes from this brand. And I can honestly say that these brushes are very good and they do what they are supposed to do. They are super soft and they just um, apply your makeup very well. For this box, we received the brush number 135. The Face and Body Kabuki Brush. And it is this super small one. I think this will be perfect to take with you on a long weekends or on holidays because this just fits perfectly in your toilet bag instead of using your big kabuki brushes or your big powder brushes. So this is actually very convenient. I will be excited to take this with me on holiday because it just has the perfect size and I know that Nire Beauty brushes always do the job. The next item, not really sure what this is. This is an item by the brand Corpse 
volatiles if I'm correctly, not really sure. It says encapsulated sun, 100% synthes, a poetic and sensual combination for an adventurous skin and its favorite season, summer. I almost think that this is some kind of fragrance. She said with a question mark. Oh yeah, Eau de Parfum Natural Spray, made in France. Okay. Let's get it out of this little baggie. And then we're left with this little one. I always think it is such a risk to put a little perfume or an eau de toilette inside of a goodie box because everyone has a different taste in uh, what scent they like but they claim that this is going to smell like summer. Let's give it a little whiff, if it would like to come out. <coughs> so, some stuff went up my nose right there. It is not a very heavy scented perfume. I, I, <laughs> I'm actually a little bit flabbergasted because I cannot pinpoint what smell I'm actually smelling. It has a lot of different notes inside of here, that's for sure. It does not smell horrible, but I'm, I'm not really sure about what I am smelling, but it does smell very fresh and very summery indeed, but my nose really has to get used to it. Let's see if I can actually find what kind of smells they put inside of here. Powdery sweet with a very good tonka characteristic, almond, vanilla, coumarin, not really sure what that is, hay and a coconut note. Okay. Well, it does smell a bit like the outdoors. It is so weird to describe smells, but it does smell like like summer outdoors. But I cannot give you an answer to, to how this is actually smelling. But maybe if you get used to the scent a little bit more, then I will actually like it. But for now, I'm not really sure what I am smelling. So, yeah, <laughs> that was the worst description ever, but we got a little scent, a little perfume by Corpse of Volatiles. We are already down to the final item inside the unboxing of the goodie box of September. And right here I have a Lottie London retractable eyeliner, the AM to a PM one. And we received the shade Espresso. So that is going to be a little bit of a brown color, which I'm not super excited about, but okay, we are going to see. The AM to PM in built sharpener, Lottie London is vegan and cruelty free, so that is good. So let's see how brown the espresso color actually is. Just your normal average eyeliner pencil. Let's see if I can create a more satisfying ASMR moment with this packaging. A little bit better, but not perfect. Average pencil. It is very creamy, this one, but it is brown. I would rather received it in a black color, but that is my personal opinion. This is the color in normal light. I just put out my ring light entirely and I just have some beauty lights to the side. This is the brown shade, but the consistency is extremely creamy. So that is very good. Let's see. I always get a heart attack if I see people do this. 
Okay, we got quite a length. <laughs> Let's get it down very quickly. And they also claim that they have a sharpener built in. That is right here on the ends. So, yeah, the, uh, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about the consistency because it is also very smudge proof. So that is very good. But yeah, I, I never use brown eyeliners, but maybe I should give it a try to see how it works with my skin and with my eyes. I am actually trying to rub it off with a little bit of saliva, but it is still there. If my camera will focus, it is still there. So this eyeliner will not budge one bit. So yeah, Lottie London doing the job from AM to PM as they claim. So yeah, excited to see what an espresso color does for my eyes. And that were all the items inside the unboxing of the goodie box from September. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite. I'm personally very excited to give the pad a try, the, the mask pad that claims to have the seven step skincare routine all in one. I really love to see what that does for my face. And yeah, another one of my favorites is the little kabuki brush because they are just so extremely handy to have in your collection. But overall must say that since a long time I'm pretty impressed with the selection that they chose. Also some new brands inside of here because Lottie London has never made an appearance in one of my boxes. And also Starskin is a brand that we do not see a lot. So I think they are upping their game finally a little bit um, because some of the previous boxes have been a little bit of a letdown. So good to see that they are finally upping their game a little bit. But overall, very excited about the new goodie box. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!